Welcome back to the video guys and today we're going to be talking about gear in Stranger Things Puzzle Tales. Now gear is something very crucial uh, to the game uh, for the higher end missions. Now if you're at the higher end missions you're gonna want to know everything about gear there is to know because the information the developers give you in the FAQ is very vague uh, and general uh, but honestly you need to know about gear because gear is something that it just can help you beat missions uh, that you struggle with and it's just amazing if you know about it. Uh, okay, so first of all, the only important piece of gear or rarity of gear you want to know about is 6 star gear. This is the only piece of gear you want to care about. You want to get that and upgrade that. That's the only piece of gear. 6 star gear, everything else you use as a folder for scrap tokens, for the, not scrap tokens, but tokens to upgrade the 6 star gear. Uh, and yeah, right. How do you get 6 star gear? There's three ways to get 6 star gear. You can get it from the will resource. Now this actually starts to drop, I believe, after you reach chapter 15, around there. And the, the drop rate is very low. I think I get like one every week or one every 10 days. So I think that's around the drop rate. I just got one today, actually. I got a green six star gear today, uh, but I obviously didn't record that. Uh, the second way to get this is going to be the club store. Now this is something uh, <laughs> very hard to get because of the the amount of tokens you need to get and the amount of tokens you get daily so on average you're gonna get one piece of gear every 40 days which is almost a month and a half and this is one of the worst ways to get this gear but i'm about to get one in a couple of days so i'm definitely gonna get it uh because uh, you know i have to get every single gear i really need to get put it on my character so uh, yeah, but it just takes a very long time in just one piece of gear. So yeah, but the best way to get this is from this general store This refreshes daily and it gives you different gear every day This is the best way to spend diamonds in the game in my opinion. Uh, this is the gear you want to be getting right um, So let's talk about the actual uh, gear. So as you can see here, there are four different uh, pieces of gear you need to put to every character so on the left you have the headgear and the chest gear on the right you have the hands gear and the legs gear now this is where it's gonna get interesting uh, because I actually am gonna use this uh, picture from uh, Meto who actually made uh, the a very useful gear resource uh, last year and because the, uh, they haven't uh, actually up changed anything to do with gear in the new version of the game This is actually still legit and up to date and it's amazing So it add some colors on it now. Let's go, go over it real quick So if you look at the bottom lines, uh, you have the uh, different uh, gear types as I already told you you have the the hands which are in blue you have the head in purple uh, with the legs in black and in dark brown we have the chest so every type of gear has three different gears and uh, the gears are split into three different bits you have the attack gear the balance gear and the hit points gear so the attack gear they would focus on uh, just giving your characters a lot of attack so if you look at the red line next to the gears these are the attack gears the green lines are the hit points gears and the balance gears are in yellow what sort of gear do you want to put on your characters? So if you go back to the game, uh, if you look at somebody like Steve, he's an attack unit because of his damage that he does, 1100% uh, and you really want to boost that damage. You want him to hit even harder than it is. So I would only put attack gear, so I will put everything that's in red. So I will put the big fireworks, I will put the goggles, I will put the rocket bike and the jetpack. These are the four pieces of gear you want to have on him. Same thing with somebody like, uh, let's say, Purple Erica. She is the same character, which is, as, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get the other gear, but so far I've only got the purple uh, uh, bike rocket by gear and uh, yeah and other characters that are attack types would include uh, purple Nancy you have um, yellow uh, Dustin you have uh, yellow Robin uh, you know this uh, red Lucas as well uh, this guy is a complete beast so you want to give him attack gear uh, and this is really what it is when it comes to somebody like healers, somebody like Argyle, as you can see I've given him every possible hit point gear. I just want to boost his health to make sure he's alive the longest as possible so he can heal my team. And uh, honestly that's it, what I do with healers, you just want to put 
health really because they don't damage enemies as you can see their abilities mainly heal and activate dices so you really don't want to put them attack focus gear because i personally believe there is no doesn't make sense i would put either balance gear or health gear but i would go more with health gear than balance gear balance gear i would sort of put on uh, people that activate dices and empower dices so i just want to give them a bit of damage and health uh because they dices can do a bit more damage when they have more uh, attack power on those units but honestly you want to really their support units so you really want to keep them for longer as possible so like health and balance would be better for somebody like uh blue 11 who is a very good dice and power and activator uh, somebody like uh, um uh, red eddie so red eddie here uh, again he's an empower so you want to put in more health and less damage so this is really what you want to go for uh okay so it's really up to you to obviously to you can put any gear you want but obviously if you start, if a character does a lot of damage you want to boost that damage even further because if the character already does like a lot of damage why would you give him a lot of health it doesn't really make sense i mean i would go with super high amount of damage as damage as possible kill everything fast and finish the mission you know uh that's how well but what are going for uh okay so six star gear uh it has six levels so as you can see here for instance this rocket bike i have it maxed out you get these yellow lines when you level up so you have five of them because it's maxed out now obviously level one is when you buy the gear it's level one and you have five more levels to upgrade uh so you have six levels and the the the, the coins you need to spend for the upgrades are are cheap but you need to be able to get tokens so you can either get them um, from the shop right you have the uh, upgrade token you can spend diamonds for but i wouldn't really do that because i would be spending my diamonds on the actual gear than the upgrade tokens i would be spending my coins to get these five and a half star gear daily uh, to get this extra fodder because this is 10,000 tokens 10,000 tokens and this is only 8,000 and it costs you 1500 diamonds and you only spend a million of coins and you get 10,000 tokens it's a way better deal in my opinion to actually be spending your coins on the five and a half star gear and then your diamonds on the six star gear uh if you want to progress like that i think that that's what i'm doing i think this is like the better way i found a very good correlation because you keep getting a lot of diamonds daily and a lot of the times the gear that you get in the shop as you can see i don't buy every piece of gear because not every gear is the best one i want to get uh let's say i don't need these boots because uh, these boots are have a lot of health and purple units are more attack based gear when you have purple Nancy and purple Erica and you can really give these to purple 11 because she's a dice activator I just want to keep her alive for longer as possible. Uh, honestly, it's up to you um, But yeah now finally I want to point your attention to this website the Hawkins insider uh, Most of the information is not up to date. The gear is the only one up to date Obviously as I'm making this video, maybe it's going to be up to date later, but this is really still from the old version of the game but there is this i'm gonna leave a link in the description below as well there is this equipment catalog where you can actually filter gear by rarity so if you want to check all the gear as you can see i, I only care about six star and then you can care uh, check them by uh by for instance the slot here the different type of slot uh okay and then you can filter them by balance so you have the attack in red the balanced in uh, in green and then the hit points in blue and the best thing is that if you actually click on the gear you can see the costs for tokens and coins and also the stats increase for every level so this is level one jetpack level two you see level three you see level four level five level six max level and it tells you uh, it tells you at the bottom the total upgrade cost uh so this is really good resource if you guys want to do the math and then you can just like check uh what's up which gear is the best one you can again just follow this uh, uh use this resource and honestly figure out the best gear for your characters honestly this is some really amazing stuff but that's pretty much it guys this is the gear in the game the six star gear is the most important gear this is the only gear you want to focus on getting and upgrading uh for your characters uh and yeah that's it if you have any questions drop them in the, in the comment section down below and as always i'll see you guys all in my next video